Take a look and see what we've got inside here. It's slightly, you know, it still comes in a small box, but uh, it's a little bit heftier than some of these other packages that I recently got. So I have been picking up a lot of that junk fractional stuff. But um, let's see what's in here. I'm really excited to see what we have in store. Hmm, nice. But this is just bubble wrap and the actual yumminess is right here. So let's take a look and see what, what we got inside. There's definitely a packaging slip up in there. Oh my goodness. This is a heavy bar. I haven't purchased... Oh, you see that? These are a nice lot of one ounce bars actually. Pretty excited about this. Let me just take a look here. Um, this is a lot of 12 Engelhard one ounce bars. And I do believe that these are going to be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a nice variety pack actually. So I'm very excited because uh, we have a nice variety pack of one ounce Engelhard bars to take a look at. Um, in fact, I've not ever really purchased any one ounce bars. I've been kind of more into the hundred ounce bars and um, the rounds, so that's really kind of the angle hard stuff I mainly collect, uh, but I've been trying to branch out a little bit. I've got, picked up quite a bit of platinum bars. Actually picked up, I think just as many platinum bars as I just picked up uh, silver bars. So let's, anyways, let's take a look at these. Uh, it's really nice because they've actually encased these, so I don't have to go out and grab cases. I'm very excited about that because uh, that was kind of something that was on my mind. Uh, but thankfully, all these have been either in case or they're in, either in hard case or a plastic soft case. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Let's take a look and see what kind of designs we got here. Um, I was really intrigued about this listing because, uh, I guess I don't need to put my glove on, because it was a variety pack and because I am new to stacking these one ounce bars. I don't know if I'm gonna get too deep into stacking one ounce single hard bars because based off of my research, they, many, many, many of them are very, very common. So, you know, I may, you know, if I can grab like a, um, perhaps, you know, like a more rare one uh, for cheaper, then I might consider it uh, perhaps, or who knows, maybe I'll just start going crazy with the one ounce bars. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. But uh, this is uh, the first design of 12. So let's take a look, uh, pretty standard standard looking one. Um, you know, I've got a couple others uh, that seem to look just like that. Let's try to group those together. if we can see any differences between these. So yeah, these are all the same-ish. Angle hard, angle hard, angle hard. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on the rarity, but I'm quite sure that these are all quite common. Um, I, I'm, I'm assuming these are all pretty common. Um, and when I say common, I mean, you know, hundreds of thousands. But like I said, I gotta do a little bit better research here on the, um, on the one ounce bars. I'm just not super clued in on them too much. Interesting. So when we look at the obverse, sorry, the reverse, there's actually one unique one here. So we got four of them that are stamped with that Engelhard logo, which is pretty sweet. And this one is a blank. So this is actually a different design compared to these three. And for all I know, there may be some small variations with these three. You know, that's something that some research that would have to be done. I just noticed there's a little bit of toning on this one. <laughs> I think it's funny how people are value toning uh but anyways so so now there's uh let's take a look here so now we've got these e logos but there's a difference between these there's the e m c logos which i believe uh i don't know if that's mining company or minerals company i'm not sure but uh we've got four regular e logos and then we got three e m c logos right so this right here is a separate lot as well so these just have the standard e logo there and they've all they're all serialized as well 
don't know if you noticed that. Uh, the others are also serialized as well. Okay, so this is this is the front. Now, if we go to the back, they're all looking the same. They're all looking the same. Okay. Now, if we look at the numbers, let me read these off. You got a P seven zero zero two six one. Then you got a P. Gosh, these are hard to read. This is a PP. Or maybe an FP actually. FP nine seven three four nine. So this is a different P seven F something FP. Then this one right here is a P two two P two two three zero eight seven P two seven three seven seven four. Okay. None of them are sequential. I'm not even going to try to check to see if the other ones are because if they were sequential, they would have been selling them as sequential. Now this is the final three in the lot, and these you'll see underneath that E. There's an MC. Uh, somebody want to do some research on Google real quick and they want to check to see what that MC stands for, please drop it in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to research it myself anyways. But uh, if you would like to know for your own knowledge, I would advise you to do that. So we've got three E. And these were the ones I was most excited about because they just seemed a little bit more unique. Um, I don't know. We've got a little bit of spotting there on the, on the back. But um, these were the ones that I was kind of most excited, I guess you could say. But now looking back, I'm actually pretty excited about this blank back as well. So we have to do some research on that blank back, see if that's something that makes it unique. I, I imagine it probably doesn't because the person I bought from probably had done their research on that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this nice uh, unboxing of a lot of 12 Engelhard one ounce bars. Peace.